Yes, my name is Bench and welcome back to another Star Made Logic tutorial. This is going to be a quick one. We're checking out the brand new display module ability or functions or whatever you want to call it. It's really, really cool. You can see it functioning here on the bottom of the screen. It is actually swapping. You can see we're alternating between displays. What? And that is happening here behind me. You can see we've got our three different uh, versions of our thing and we're actually swapping between them. How's this happening? Oh, why don't we find out? You can see we've got these delays in the back and they're going around and they're triggering our buttons here and our buttons are simply just hooked up to the display module. So let's build this again. We'll get rid of this delay here and I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing you'll need to do is put the display where you want it with everything that you want to be displayed as a separate display monitor somewhere else. So this is here because we want to see it, but you could hide this somewhere else in your ship. And basically each of these has all we want to show on each uh, different change. And these changes are controlled by logic. You can use an activation module, or in this case, we'll use a button. And it just needs to be the same as rails. So we have a rail we want to change to, and we're connecting the logic that's connected, uh, that's adjacent to it, to the one we want to actually swap, um, swap to. So you'll see here, I grab each button, connect it up to that display module that I want to be able to swap it to and we can check it out here just by pushing the buttons. So you see it says all systems active. If I want the shields I can toggle that one and there we go we've got the shields. So now this gives us an incredible ability especially with some of the other systems and things that we're able to build with logic. But for now we'll show you just the general way of being able to have something cycle through. So in this case we're going to um, lay out a track of display uh, of delay blocks you can see we're just snaking it around here and when we get to this point we're connecting it to our first um, button and then we'll continue with our delays snaking it around like so and we'll go on top because that makes it nice and easy and we'll connect this next one to the button there and we'll keep going around to our last one so going around like so and this one I'm going to actually connect into the button and then take the button and connect into the bottom one and this is just because I'm I just want to be able to push the button and there we go start the timer so it needs to be a pulse going around and you'll see that because of that now we'll see each of those different screens for our display module start iterating through which is really cool you can see there really nice so that's the simple way of being able to set up these you could use it with all kinds of different logic but especially with our conditionals our ands and ors and all these things to be able to get the different displays that you want to be able to see when the next episode we'll also be checking out how we can integrate it with our sensor block here to be able to actually get our display modules to feed out uh, different visuals based on what we're actually detecting from our sensor block but until then, my name is Bench and thanks for watching.